Good day everyone, this is CK and welcome to our basic accounting online tutorial, Advanced Studying at Home Before Starting Your Accountancy Journey. In this video, ang pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ay tungkol sa accounts affected in transactions. So, ano ba yung mga naaapektuhang accounts in every accounting transactions na nangyayari sa isang business? Yan ang pag-uusapan natin in this video tutorial. So, let's start with our instructions here. Sabi dito, identify the accounts affected in each of the following transactions. Here in our screen, we have the list of accounting transactions na madalas na nangyayari sa isang business. So, para mas magkaroon ng thrill or challenge sa inyo itong video tutorial na to, you can pause this video and identify sa sarili ninyo kung ano yung mga accounts na naapektuhan sa bawat transactions na to. Okay? Then, afterwards, resume this video para malaman yung sagot. Okay? So, you may pause this video. So, kung tapos na kayo magsagot at gusto nyo nang malaman yung answer for um, this certain problem, let's continue with our first transaction. Sabi dito, received cash as additional investment. Bukod sa pag-identify ng mga accounts na naaapektuhan sa isang transaction, ikaklasify din natin kung yung mga accounts na affected ay under ba ng debit or credit. Okay? So, again, for our first trans transaction, received cash as additional investment. So, for our deb debit, we have cash and our credit naman ay capital. Okay? Nakareceive tayo ng cash for additional investment. Additional investment is for capital, then cash is the cash itself. Okay? Next, purchased supplies on account. So, for debit, we have supplies and for credit naman, we have accounts payable because um, nandito na rin naman yung keyword supplies, then on account. Pag sinabi natin on account, yan ay laging utang. So, yan ay considered as accounts payable na um, naapektuhang account. Okay? Next, charged customers for services made account. Okay? So, our debit here is accounts receivable. Then, credit is service revenue. Um, dito naman, chinarge customer because nagawa na yung service. Okay? Narender na yung service. So, pag narender na yung service, naka-earn na tayo doon ng service revenue. Then, sabi dito, made account, made or made on account. Kaya, yan ay considered as um, receivable. And, pag sinabi natin receivable, that is accounts receivable. Yan ay debit. Next naman, rendered services to cash customers. We have here debit na cash and credit na service revenue. Next, paid cash for rent on building. We have here debit na um, rent expense. Then, credit na cash. Kasi, nagbayad tayo um, through the use of cash. So, mababawasan yung ating cash. Kaya siya ay mapupunta sa credit. Then, yung pinambayad natin ng cash ay for our rent. So, our debit here is rent expense. Okay? Then, next, collected an account receivable in full. So, nag-collect daw tayo ng receivable. So, ano ba yung kinokollect natin from our receivable? Of course, it is um, the payment or payment na for our service na ni-render. So, for our debit, we have cash, then credit na accounts receivable. Next naman, paid cash for supplies. So, meron na tayo agad na key terms, cash and supplies. So, we have debit, supplies, then credit, cash. Next, Return supplies purchased on account. 
So again, meron na naman tayong um, key terms dito. We have supplies and key term na on account. So we have debit na accounts payable and credit na supplies. So bakit naman naging credit yung supplies natin at bakit accounts payable yung debit natin dito? Because we return supplies um, na pinurchase natin on account. Okay? Inutang natin yung um, yung pinurchase natin na supplies. Pero, yung utang na yun, hindi pa natin nababayaran. And, yung supplies na inutang natin ay ibinalik natin because of um, some certain reason. So, madalas na reason kung bakit nire-return yung mga supplies na pinurchase ay dahil may defect or kaya Um, hindi yun yung tamang supplies na in order, mga ganong bagay or ganong reasons, kaya nagre-return ng um, mga pinurchase ang isang business. So, yun yung ating sagot. Debit, accounts payable, then credit supplies. Move on with our next um, transaction, paid cash to settle accounts. Kapag sinabi nating settle accounts, ibig sabihin isa-settle natin yung ating mga utang. Okay? Kapag sinabi natin kasi na accounts, um, always na yan na connected sa utang. Okay? And kapag nag-settle tayo, we debit accounts payable, then we credit cash. Okay? Kasi bawas yan sa ating cash account. Next one, paid cash to owner for personal use. So, our debit here is withdrawals, then credit cash. Received cash for rendering services. We have here cash as debit and credit na service revenue. So, minsan, um, nagre-render tayo ng service on account, kaya ang nagiging... Um, debit natin doon ay accounts receivable. Pero dahil dito, nakareceive agad tayo ng cash. So, ang debit natin ay cash. Withdraw cash for personal expenses. We have here debit na withdrawals and credit na cash. Okay. Next naman for our next set of transactions. Here we have Um, received cash from a customer who have been rendered service on account. So, our debit here is cash. Then, our credit is accounts receivable. Transferred personal building to the business. So, pag sinabi nating transfer sa ating business, yan ay considered din as Um, capitalizing to the business. Okay? Kumbaga yung um, ownership ng um, tinatransfer mo na asset ay napupunta na sa ownership ng business mo at hindi na sa'yo personally. Okay? So, for our debit here, we have um, debit building and credit na capital. Then, next, paid a car shop for the purchase business service vehicle. So, nadagdagan tayo ng service vehicle. So, pagdating sa ating libro, pag nirecord natin siya, we debit service vehicle, then credit cash. Okay? Kasi binayaran na natin siya nung pinurchase natin itong ating service vehicle. Then, performed a service and received a promise of payment. So, we have here debit na notes receivable, then credit na service revenue. So, bakit naman naging notes receivable yung debit natin dito? Because of the term or the phrase na received a promise of payment. Kapag nakatanggap kayo ng promise um, for the payment of that um, service na nirender nyo, always remember na yan ay automatic na notes receivable. And, meron ding ibang form ng phrase na yan. Meron ding sasabihin na um, received a note um, as a promise for payment of this blah blah blah. So, kapag nakatanggap ka din ng note, nakatanggap ka ng promise, parehas yon na considered as um, 
notes receivable yung debit niya. Okay? Pero pag ikaw naman yung nagbigay or nag-send ng note as a promise of payment para sa pinurchase mo na item from um, other business, yan naman ay ang maapektuhan ng mga account doon ay notes payable. Okay? So, yun naman ay liability account. Next, paid cash to acquire equipment. So, naka-acquire tayo ng equipment. So, we have here debit na equipment, then credit, cash. Then, next, paid cash to an employee for services rendered. We have debit here na salaries, expense, then credit na cash. Pagdating sa mga employees, ang binibigay natin sa kanila ay salaries. Okay? Kasi tayo, pag um, ina-analyze natin yung isang transaction, ang point of view natin lagi ay tayo yung nasa katayuan ng business or tayo yung owner ng business. So, yung mga employees na nabanggit, sila ay binibigyan natin ng salaries kapag um, ganitong type of transaction yung nakasulat sa ating problem. Okay? Paid cash to an employee. Next, we have um, transaction na cash received from delivery services, 92,700 pesos. So, nakareceive daw tayo ng cash from our delivery services. So, we have debit na cash, then credit na service revenue. So, for this one, yung nirender naman natin na service ay delivery services. Kaya siya ay um, service revenue sa ating credit account or sa ating credit side. And lastly, paid creditors on account. Kapag sinabi natin creditors, ito yung mga pinagkakautangan natin. Okay? At dahil binayaran natin yung mga pinagkakautangan natin na entities like our business or other um, um, owners, other people, ganun, ang record natin dyan ay debit, accounts payable, then credit, cash. Tandaan nyo lang pag sinabing paid, ibig sabihin naglabas na yun ng pera. Okay? Automatic na yun kung hindi man mabanggit na cash yung binayad. Okay? Then pag creditors naman, binayaran mo yung creditors on account, yan ay uh, connected sa utang. So that is accounts payable. So, dyan na nagtatapos yung examples natin at yung problem natin for this um, video. And I hope na kahit pa paano may natutunan kayo on this um, video tutorial. Kung may natutuhan ka sa tutorial na ito, please like this video and click the subscribe button para updated ka sa mga susunod pa nating video tutorials. Maraming salamat sa panonood and see you on our next videos.